Hi everyone. I wish I could be with you in person to celebrate your achievements, but I'm thrilled that the festival is continuing online and that I had the pleasure of being the final judge for the 2020 High School Poetry Contest. The 10 finalists didn't make my job easy. The creativity, originality, and variety of their work was impressive and inspiring. After multiple readings, I did choose three winners, but before I reveal those, let's start with a fan favorite. That award goes to Trishel Weed for Why So Serious. Trishel's poem reminds us how important it is to keep dreaming and to seize the day, no matter what our current circumstances may be. That message is especially relevant in these difficult, strange times. Now, here are my favorite poems. The third place winner is Lucy Shen for Chunnibo. I was drawn to this poem immediately because the imagery is evocative and lovely and the narrative unfolds beautifully. I admire the cohesiveness of the writing and the speaker's honesty and vulnerability throughout the poem, and especially in the closing lines. The second place winner is Sarah Patch for Losing a Loved One, My First Five Thoughts. I admire the ambition and depth of this poem. The speaker tackles a tremendously difficult subject and does so with great insight and maturity. Anyone who has lost a loved one will find familiar thoughts and feelings here, and perhaps some solace as well. The first place winner is Rena Fishman for 13 Ways to Kill a Cactus. This is a smart, sophisticated poem that draws on literary tradition and gives it a contemporary twist. I love how the poem progresses, grappling with ideas from different angles and using the central image to explore complex emotions. This entry edged out the others because it intrigued me the first time I read it, and it kept calling me back. Congratulations to all the winners and finalists, and to everyone who dares to dream. Poetry is needed now more than ever, and your work really matters. If you need inspiration as a writer, attend some or all of the online events offered by the Gaithersburg Book Festival until June 14th. You can also read the finalists from the High School Poetry Contest. Just go to the festival's website using the links you see here.